Okay, so we have to find the equation of the tangent line to the graph of this uh, equation here. So this is a lemnus gate. Okay, it's a lemnus gate uh, at this point, uh, negative four comma two. So solution. So the only thing we need to find is the slope. Once we have the slope, uh, we're pretty much done. We can just find the line. So we'll start by taking the derivative of both sides with respect to x. So here we have to use the chain rule. We will bring the two down. So we get two times three, which is six. Don't touch the inside, x squared plus y squared to the first power times the derivative of the inside via the chain rule. So this is 2x plus 2y dy dx. Over here on the right-hand side, the 100 is a constant, so it just kind of hangs out. So we have 100, 2x minus 2y dy dx. All right, so let's go over that one more time. So we took the derivative of both sides with respect to x. Let's check. We brought the 2 down. 2 times 3 is 6. Don't touch the inside. And then you subtract 1, so you get 1. Then you multiply by the derivative of the inside. So 2x checks. 2y dy dx checks. Here, this is a constant, so we don't do anything with it. It just hangs out. It's a constant being multiplied by a function. So a co the derivative of a constant by itself would, would be 0. Uh, the derivative of x squared is 2x, and here it's minus 2y dy dx. Yep, looks like we did it correctly. All right, at this point, let's plug everything in. So at negative 4, comma 2. So that means that we're going to plug in x equals negative 4 and y equals 2. When we do this, let's, let's try to skip some steps here. Uh, well, maybe not. Let's not skip steps. So this is negative 4 squared, so 16. All right, I skipped a step. <laughs> uh, y squared is 2 squared, so 4 times, let's see, 2 times negative 4 is negative 8, and then 2 times 2 is 4. Ugh, so dy dx looks really ugly. Uh, over here we have 100. Uh, let's see, 2 times negative 4 is negative 8, and then minus 2 times 2, so 4 dy dx. All right, let's clean this up. So 16 plus 4, this is 20. Uh, 20 times 6 is 120. So we get 120, negative 8 plus 4 dy dx. And looks like here we get negative 800 minus 400 dy dx. Uh, let's distribute this 120. So let's see, 8 times 120. Well, 8 times 100 is 800. 8 times 20 is 160. So this is negative 960 plus 480 dy dx equals negative 800. Um, and then what else? Minus 400 dy dx. So easy to mess up in problems like this. Uh, let's keep going. So I guess we need all the dy dx's on one side by themselves. So I'm going to add this to this. So we have negative 960 plus 880 dy dx equals negative 800. Uh, add the 960, so we get 880 dy dx equals uh, 160. At this point, we'll divide by 880. Okay, so when we divide by 880, I'll do it over here. We end up with dy dx equals 160 over 880. And you can just keep dividing by 2 over and over in, until it simplifies. But uh, if you divide by 10, you get, uh, let's see, 16 over uh, 88. And if you divide by 11, you get 2 over 11. 8. 2 over 8. 2 over 8. Uh, is that right? Let's see. Uh, 16 over 88. So 8 goes into 16 twice. Yeah, that's right. 2 and then, yeah, 11. So 2 over 11. That, that's correct. All right, so dy dx. So dy dx at the point, I guess the point was uh, negative 4 comma 2 is equal to 2 over 11. Now, we were a little sloppy here in our computations. I didn't write the, the little line here with the negative 4 and the 2. It just got so cumbersome with, the, with these computations. Anyways, this is the slope. So now to finish, we use our point and our slope uh, to find the line. So our point was negative 4, 2. 
That'll be our x1, this is our y1, and our slope is 2 over 11. So to finish, we use the formula y minus y1 is m x minus x1. All right, so y1 is 2, so y minus 2. m is 2 over 11, and let's see, x plus 4. Distribute, we get y minus 2, uh, 2 over 11 times x, plus 8 over 11. So y equals 2 over 11x plus, let's think, we're going to add 8 over 11 to 2. So we're really adding 8 over 11 plus, uh, let's see, multiply this by 11 over 11. So 22 over 11. So that's plus 30 over 11. And that's it. That's how you find the equation of the tangent line uh, using implicit differentiation. This one was a little bit messier, um, but yeah, we did it. That's it.